to a monthly reset okay today is gonna be an April reset and I'm excited to say goodbye to the first quarter of 2023 because for me maybe it wasn't the best time it wasn't the worst don't get me wrong it was just mid I can say it was just mid you know nothing major happened like on both ends of the spectrum it was just normal you know it was just meh you know so I'm excited to plan and go set for the second quarter of 2023 so this reset is gonna be a little bit different from the March one because um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit more than just the April or other I'm gonna be doing a little bit more than just reflecting March I'm gonna be reflecting um, the whole first quarter of 2023 so I am madly excited so as you can see on my screen right now I really hope that <laughs> I hope that you can see the screen because most of the time when I'm showing the screen like this it kind of like for some weird reason it doesn't like work the way it's supposed to like the reflection is intense so I have lowered um the, the 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 lighting from the computer and then i have like my lighting bright so you can see so so i have my notion page this is um the landing page that when i click on my notion i get so the idea for using notion i got it from jenna hong y'all know i've been mentioning her for a while now anytime i'm doing weekly resets or something y'all not been using notion for so long not really so long but for like two months and all i can say is i am obsessed this video okay this video disclaimer this video is not sponsored by anything i'm just showing you guys the tools that i use and what makes me happy basically so i got this idea of notion from jenna hong but I got the monthly reset um, idea from Jenna Hong and Selena, 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 she's Latina, so I'm not really sure how she pronounces her name, but I'm going to call her S Selena because it's S-E-L-E-N-A, I'm going to say Selena, um, she's got Selena, she's chat, hold up, let me, let me see, let me see her page. Selena Tchi Chad, I'm gonna botch her name, so let me just check. Um, real quick, I follow her a lot, so it's gonna be easy for me to find her. No, not you. Why would you think it's you? Oh, yeah, she's called Selena Tre Trevino. Yeah, that's her name, Trevino. So I got that idea from her and Jenna Hong to do this little monthly reset. I do mine differently, of course. Everyone has like different ways of doing the monthly reset. Um, for Selena, Selena, whatever, she does has um, but also she like includes like her monthly like budget and everything. And I don't have that. I just have the regular, typical. Um, mostly my career is what like I plan for the most. So we are on Notion okay where we always are all the time when i'm doing this so we're gonna go to my monthly goals and whatever so this was the goals for march um basically there are certain things here that i really needed to um you know accomplish and stuff for the month and you can see um this is maintaining and growing fitness i've been doing that i mean it's a slow process okay given that i don't really like working on everything so it's kind of a, sm a slow process but it's getting there um improving the quality of my vlogs i feel like this is also a gradual thing like right now if i'm editing a vlog and i don't like the lighting or i don't like um how it's flowing i'm gonna i'm not gonna post it because if i'm not feeling the video i don't expect you guys to feel the video so that's why like sometimes um i have a lot of raw footages for i have a lot of like videos that i've i've been filming but some of them might never you might never see them because i just don't like how it is so i'm gonna say i have tried to improve my vlogs and everything um post more on instagram yes i've been posting constantly um post stories i've just been doing all of that i just wanted to be more you know more in touch with every other social media as well so that i can 
you know, have the growth that I need, um, post more YouTube shorts. Y'all, I can't even say I haven't done this. I've been posting, like, I think I've been posting um, shorts for the last two weeks, mostly. Um, I'm balancing, I'm doing, you know, little segments from the videos that I'm posting and stuff like that. So I've been improving on posting on my YouTube shorts. So that is something that I have majorly accomplished. Um, start meditating child I tried to meditate but I don't think I can off my brain like my brain is just it's 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 no it's it's a no okay I can't really off it so maybe I haven't really like paid attention to that point so that's the one thing that I haven't really paid attention to um create morning and night routines but I focus mostly on my morning routine um for night routines I basically do the same thing you know <laughs> watch YouTube videos for a long time and then not really YouTube videos but watch something okay and then um go to bed <laughs> so I've been trying to do that um brainstorm YouTube short ideas of course I'll be consistent child I think this month I've been the most consistent hold up let's go to my YouTube channel and we check something here for for, for instance I want to see like the goal is to have um it's supposed to twice a week, so that's around eight videos a month. So let's go see how many videos I have posted this month alone. No, that's not where you go, girl. <laughs> let's go. Let's go to my YouTube studio and let's see, like, how much I have, like, how many videos I've posted this month. Okay, so as you can see, I have so many shorts. Hold up. Where's my content? Okay. So f let's go see. Where is the shorts? Can I get my shorts? Okay, they're here. Okay, if you can see, like, I posted, this I posted on 28th March, and then 30th and 30th. Um, I've been posting, like, a lot of shorts, like, as you can see. I've been posting a lot. I think since March 17th, I've been posting constantly on my YouTube shorts. But let's see from the month of March how many I've posted. So we have this video. Um, the weekend vlog that went up on March 3rd, so we have one, two, hold up, let me click on them. How am I going to delete them? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, okay, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. I have eight videos so basically plus this one is gonna go up to today's friday actually 30 files and i need to post this video today <laughs> weirdly so technically speaking i have um, been very consistent this month i haven't missed on any uploading days none like i've been uploading without missing so consistency check this month i've been very consistent um never let laziness stop you from productivity child it does but i also be i'm also very productive so yeah always accomplish your weekly task okay let's see this week is not completely over but let's go see the weekly task that i have this week and the stuff that i've done um this sunday vlog oh yeah i edited it um there's some things of course i have um accomplished very fast but the week isn't really over so right now i'm in the middle of filming the the reset and stuff so this is basically like the always finish your weekly task i've been doing it so it's not really like a problem i've been doing it so basically i have majorly accomplished all the things that i needed to do for the month of March okay now so let's go and see on my yearly goals if I have actually accomplished what I wanted to accomplish before the first quarter ended so here is a quarterly breakdown basically as you can see January Feb and March um, it's the first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter I haven't really filled them in because I don't really know like you know <laughs> what I'm gonna do like the goals for the next three quarters but if you can see here um start my fitness journey I have pretty much accomplished that like can I put a tick on it <laughs> because I have actually accomplished that 100% I have it done and then the other thing is create routines and everything um I think I somehow 
have started doing the morning routine the perfect way hold up where is the tick do i have a tick i want to see if i have a tick emoji like check check emoji or something because i feel like it's gray like if i just stick to it and you know i can see the prog the progress i'm like okay i was able to accomplish this so yay where is the t yeah here we go check yay and then create routines for me actually i have been able to because when i have the energy to i have a monthly not a monthly but i have um a morning routine that i follow but if i don't like wake up early and everything then i don't follow it but i do have it in place so it's there anyway so um this one's have also pretty much accomplished for feb and march i have them done start my fitness and maintain so the first um the first quarter of the year i just wanted to start the first quarter was just to start everything was just the beginning so i think i have like done a little reflection of the year and you see the year is at 25 percent and the month is it is at 100 so the month is over the month the month of march is over and the year is 35 percent done okay so for the second quarter i have three three yeah three major major goals that i want to accomplish by the time um we're in june because the next quarter ends in june so i want to maintain my fitness journey and everything um like i said the first quarter was to begin the second is to maintain and maintenance i think is the okay starting is kind of hard but maintaining is also kind of difficult so for me um i want to maintain that and i want to by the time june gets we get to june i want to have dropped down by 15 kgs for my own health benefits and everything and that will happen when i eat healthier and work out like four times a, four times a week because i can't say i'm gonna work out seven times a week i'm not insane i know i'm not gonna do that but four times can seems kind of manageable three to four times a week and then um, i also want to focus or i want to work on my 5 a.m morning routine because i'm going back to school in the second quarter and going being able to be in class by 8 a.m. and my school is like 30 minutes away so I need to add commute I need to add the morning routine I need to put all of that together and I need to I, like I found the perfect balance if I wake up at 5 a.m. I'm gonna have everything done before 7 15 for me to be able to leave the house and get to school minutes before my class starts so I have all that to like <laughs> I have the plan like I have the plan from waking up to leaving the house to get into school right to the millisecond i have it all planned out so i might be going crazy but yeah so that's i'm just gonna fill in the second quarter i'm not gonna go anywhere further because i don't really know um what you know the next quarter is gonna entail so april okay april we have um the one thing i really want to do is work on my 5 a.m morning routine that's the one goal I need to work on in a in May. So that's just a monthly breakdown um, on the yearly goal section. So let's go to the monthly goal and reflection. And we are now at the month of um, April. Yeah, and it's time to change.
Okay guys, um, I have finished listing down all the goals that I want to focus on this month and I'm gonna go through them with you quite quickly because you know we're kind of almost at the end of the video because this is just basically what I do. I list them down and yeah so let's go through them a little bit quickly. Um, the first focus goal of the month is just to focus on my morning routine. Um, like I said I'm getting back to school in May that is literally a month from now and I just don't want to start struggling with my waking up and everything at that time so i kind of want to you know start right now of course i can't just start waking up at 5 a.m i'm gonna start you know like at 6 40 and then start going back and back and back like that maybe wake up at 6 40 for a week the next week uh the next week i wake up at like six and you know you just go back and back like that for a while so that is one thing i want to focus on and and as a note to myself at the end i've said um start small and build your way up because that's the best way you can i can't just start right here at 5 a.m if i'm not used to so start small as usual the second focus goal is you know work out three to four times a week so that i can be able to drop 10 pounds by the end of the month you know just like that a little you know, again step by step of course i wouldn't like drop 40 pounds <laughs> 40 actually i think the goal is 60 pounds before um <laughs> before the end of the year so we're gonna start small you know tiny tiny steps you know because i'm not there like i've never really been the workout kind of girl but i'm kind of trying to get into that mood so baby steps baby steps um under that also i have eat healthier you know eat more greens uh, and less carbs and nuts that i can be able to you know get the goal that i want um also hydrate more um avoid like alcohol and soft drinks but i don't really take a lot of soft drinks um and i don't even take alcohol that much i just take a glass of wine here and there so i think i don't know i've written that there but you know so that i don't get out of hand at any point i have that written um and then always complete your weekly tasks for maximum productivity because sometimes my i stop doing daily to do this because I felt like they need to do this and making me even less productive so for me I started focusing on weekly to do this so that I can be able to you know have stuff that I'm supposed to accomplish before the weekends because sometimes I have a lazy day and maybe I have 10 things to do today and I have a lazy day so I'm gonna feel like I'm very unproductive and I'm gonna spiral to this unproductivity so when I do like a weekly thing um if I accomplish everything on Monday I've still accomplished everything right at the end of the week I have everything that I want to accomplish it doesn't matter if Tuesday I was lazy or not but at the end of the week i have accomplished what i wanted to do so that's why i switched from daily to do list to weekly to do list and it changed my life basically and then i have um focus on my morning routine like i said the 5 a.m morning routine basically i have this problem of being on my phone before like in my bed on my phone on tiktok and that kind of like makes me not even fall asleep quickly and then i'm gonna struggle waking up so i kind of want to avoid that um and then now to work okay that was personal everything that i was talking about that was personal goals so now these are career um the career or work goals um be consistent on youtube and post more shorts because you know i've just started being extra consistent so i just wanna i like putting consistent in every month so that i can be able to you know pay attention to it so be more consistent and post more shorts i'm already started so we're gonna do more of that um the goal for this month is 15,000 subs and 2,000 watch hours so that I can get closer and closer to getting my channel monetized. Um, and then create better vlogs, basically paying attention to my lighting and everything. I sometimes feel kind of lazy to basically, um, like I put, I set up the camera, but I always feel lazy to set up the light. And my light is quite powerful. Like I have like a good lighting. So I spent a lot of money on that shit. So I kind of always forget, not really forget, but I kind of always like ignore to use the lighting. And then I kind of create videos that I'm not happy about the lighting and everything. So I kind of want to focus on having my lighting. Um, This month I'm focusing on having my lighting on my vlogs and everything so that I can create better vlogs, better quality vlogs. And then always plan your videos ahead of time so that I can have enough time to film them. I don't like rushing through a film. Like even if I'm pretty sure even in movies or a big production, you don't always rush. You never rush through filming. Some 
some videos I need to take different angles so I really just can't um, rush through them I'm not gonna get every single angle that I want so that is one thing and then finally finally I wanna like <laughs> I have to explain this part first before I even tell you about it. Um, I have this tendency to allow my brain. Okay, I get. I always. Why would you comment me in some language I don't even understand? Um, I have this tendency of letting my brain convince me she that I'm not even there. For example, if my alarm goes off in the morning, my brain starts telling me, um, you know what, maybe just sleep a little. Like, it's not going to hurt you or anything. I end up waking up at 10.30 and it just fucked up my entire day. So all the productivity is gone and I can barely get my shit together. And that's because I allowed my brain in the morning to fool me. So... The goal for this month, given that I'll be waking up so early, um, is just to avoid, like, hold up. Is basically to avoid getting drawn in or sucked in by my brain when it starts to act crazy. So that is basically all the goals for the month. Um, I've set my intentions for the month and I've set my intentions for the next quarter and I am done. All I have to wait for is, you know, to accomplish each and every one of them. So I've been filming for a while and I can see the SD card that I'm using. I don't think it can take more. I've been filming for like 40 minutes and I feel like it's, it's getting filled up really quickly. So I'm going to end this video right here. Um... <laughs> Basically, I don't really have anything else to plan. I have planned everything. So I'm going to wrap up the video right here and say I hope you guys enjoyed this reset videos. Um, this time I've done it a little bit more different and a little bit more in depth um, than the last one. And I think this is better because this is what I like seeing um, other produ producers, but other creators create. Like I like seeing... Um, the in-depth way that they plan their month and everything. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed this reset. Comment down below if you want me to keep on posting more resets. I can easily do this for every single month because like I said in the beginning of the video, I do monthly resets every single month. It's just that I don't have to film them. I mostly don't film them but if you guys want me to always film them, I can easily do that. So... That is all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below. My, you will, what? 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 I just... I, I, whew, I don't know what just happened. I feel like my tongue tried to leave my mouth. Let's try that again, okay? That is all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see on my channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to your girl, okay? I post... <laughs> lifestyle and productivity vlogs twice a week on YouTube so if you're interested in that just subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so I can never miss out on any of my uploads and with that guys I'm gonna see you in my next video goodbye she's a Mona Lisa everyone's lining up to see her she's a Mona Lisa